no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans Quick note, if you'd like a free track from my new live comedy album, Pepper Spray the Tears Away, just send an email to pepperspraythetearsaway at gmail.com. And now, here's your moment of clarity. There are two things America has in spades. Religious people and greedy people. Alright, we have other things in spades too, such as pride and ignorance and people with an ass in the front. But we'll leave that for another time. Over 80% of Americans claim to be religious, and a high percentage of those are greedy assholes. Now, I don't believe the Bible is anything more than mildly fascinating stories with a, an occasional woman getting stoned to death for giving out pussy at the wrong time. But if you're gonna say you're living your life by the Bible, then you have to actually do it. You have to go all out. For example, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. That's Luke 18.25. I'm not that good with geometry, but I would say that almost means rich people can't get into heaven. Because first of all, camels are much larger than a needle unless you've got one of those adorable teacup camels, but they're expensive. And secondly, camels rarely sew anything. So the odds of them even encountering a needle are rather slim. Matthew 6.19 Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, where thieves break in and steal. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in. That's right, fucking moths. They'll get you every time. Anybody dumb enough to become a billionaire has not stopped to consider the moth. Luke 18.22, sell everything you have and give to the poor. You will have treasure in heaven. The Bible, the book you claim is written by the Lord, tells you to sell everything and give to the poor? It doesn't say give five dollars to the dude on the street who's drumming on an old bucket and then keep the rest of your millions for cars and swimming pools and blood diamonds, dancing horses and prancing masseuses. Make it a carnival of ass holiness. Or how about Luke 311? Whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Coats? Whoever has two coats? I'm pretty sure Mitt Romney has more than two coats. Factories. This is your book, folks, and it says don't let anyone go cold, don't let anyone go hungry, don't throw families onto the streets to enrich yourselves. It probably says something about not eating foie gras, too, but we'll deal with that another time. Proverbs 31.8 Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Not only are you supposed to allow for freedom of speech rather than shooting it with a rubber bullets, you're supposed to speak for the destitute. I would be surprised if Jamie Dimon has ever spoken to the destitute, even just to curse him out. He probably pays someone to do that for him. Now listen, rich people. Weep and wail because of the misery that is coming upon you. Your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. The wages you failed to pay the workmen who mowed your fields are crying out against you. You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered innocent men who were not opposing you. James 5, 1. I think the point is clear, rich people. If you don't quit treating your fellow man like shit, you will have moths to contend with. And I'm sure there's worse stuff down in eternal damnation like a few hot pokers up the butt, but it sounds like the moths are pretty prevalent. Look, all I'm trying to say is this is your crazy book of fairy tales. If you choose to believe it, then fucking believe it. I live my life based on a book called The King's Trousers, but I don't just ignore the part about the trousers. And that's what you're doing when you claim the Bible and ignore the poor. That's your Moment of Clarity from LeeCamp.net. If you want to play the audio from Moment of Clarity on your podcast, radio show, webcast, whatever, if you want to play it for free, no problem. Just email LeeCampMail, M-A-I-L, at gmail.com. Thanks. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.